I need a man who can lead mm -hmm. because otherwise I'm just going to walk all over them. And I feel like that's how most women are. If, if a man can't lead, they're going to walk all over you and you're going to become their doormat. You're dating a guy. Mm -hmm. You've been with this guy you've been with for like four years mm -hmm. and you go on an OnlyFans retreat and you have an epiphany. And the, a lot of guys are afraid of this concept. Could be, can you describe what happened? The, are, are you talking about my own? Per this yeah, sounds what, like I was like, this. Are what, you talking about what, me personally? What, what happened for you personally? Like, what were you going through? Because, like, I'm sure even the dude now probably has questions. Like, what happened? Because you were just gone for a month, right? You, this is what you said happened. Yeah. So, so yeah, this was a while. I've been single ever since. Yeah. Um, but yes, I I was in a committed relationship four and a half years strong. Did I, did I ever meet this guy? I think I don't I? know. Maybe okay. I don't think so. He well, never. Well, see, this is the thing. It was tough because he wasn't involved in the industry at all, and he had a hard I, time. With I remember you telling traveling me traveling and yes. shooting. He didn't want me shooting for a Playboy. He didn't want me, you know, he, going to shoot at like Dan Bilzerian's house. Actually, I was supposed to shoot at Dan's one yeah. day, and he goes, "You're not going to Dan's." Yeah. Um, but I had an epiphany. I I went on an OnlyFans retreat in Tulum, and I was just I felt like he was constantly hating on on my work and what yeah. I was doing and trying to keep me like locked up. So. I was just finally surrounded by all these beautiful women and people that were supporting me and we were just having fun. And I was like, you know what, what am I doing? Like, I, I'm still young. I should be out enjoying life and surrounding myself with people who have the same interests as me and, yeah. you know, and just travel fucking make money. Yeah. So you, you, the freedom that you felt there and then you just didn't come home. I didn't come home for a month. I went to Tulum. Uh -huh. From Tulum to, I think it was Miami. I think this was around the time that. Was this 2019? I think this may have been. Bro, when, you yes. Now I remember. Our, our Miami you, you trip. Went, like, you went from tw you went from Tulum and then met me in Miami. I remember yeah. this now. I remember you telling me the story because you and your sister were you were arriving in town. Okay, that was the trip. That was the trip. Yes. Okay. So yeah, and then I think from Miami I went to Vegas. Yeah. And then from Vegas. I think I went back to LA finally. Okay. But yeah, I ne I never went back. Did you did you communicate with him at all? Do you feel um, bad about this whole oh gosh. situation? I I feel terrible about the way that I handled it mm -hmm. with the communication, because um, you know he was a really nice guy. He's sure. a great guy. We're still great friends. Um, but at the time, I had just reached my first million followers. Mm. So I remember I, this. I, I remember I, this happening when <laughs> you were in. Yes, I remember I, in, in Miami. I cut him off. Um, you know, I, I didn't respond to him, and I just showed up at home. And he had all these balloons out that said one million plus. Oh, wow. And he had roses and a bottle of champagne. And he was like, you know, oh, my God, I'm so happy you're home. And I missed you so much. And I was just like, fuck. Yeah, I was like, I'm, I'm going to have to. Yeah, it's not going to work out. Can I propose a hypothesis to you? And you tell yes. me if you think I'm right or wrong. OK, no, it's not about your situation. I think in general, especially in your community, because you have so many options mm -hmm. that in a for a relationship to work, I think the girl has to be a little bit more into the guy than vice versa in order for the relationship to work. Because then he can lead, and because she has more options, she can have more of her focus still in this relationship, otherwise it's just not gonna make it. Do you agree with that? I, I think that makes sense. Um, yeah, I, I do. I mean, because, yeah, I do think that makes sense. That yeah, I agree because um, I feel like if you're if the girl isn't more attracted to the guy, then she could just lose interest. You know, yeah, he has to really have like a, like a you know just a hold <laughs> like a hold on her. You like, know, like you know, I just to be honest with you. Like I was just thinking, if I was in a relationship and my girl mm -hmm. just left for a month, I'm there's, you're not getting fucking balloons and flowers when you get home. <laughs> you're like I've you're, already packed. Your like, pa your stuff's already yeah. Packed. It's like it, it, I wouldn't even be mean about it. It's like clearly there was some miscommunication, but I put your stuff in storage and yeah. I'll give you a key or whatever. Right. I wish you nothing but the best. Yeah. That's what I would do. And the funny thing is, like I another hypothesis. I think you might have respected that more from him had he done that instead I've, of waiting for you for a fucking month. Absolutely, and you know before. It's not like I ghosted him for the entire month yeah. beforehand. I told him, I was like, I, I don't want to be with you. Yeah. You know, I, I had told him, and he was still clinging on to this false hope that we were going to stay together. Um, but <laughs> it, it's hard. Like, that is one of the things that happens in a relationship because, like, if I'm on social media and you're on social media, you still have more options than I do. Even if I'm like a pretty, even if I'm an, a, a, an attorney that makes half a million a year and I own a, drive a fucking Lamborghini, you yeah. still have more options than me yeah. as a girl. Yeah. A, as a girl. <laughs> As a girl, sixty percent as attractive as Corey, you, you still have more options than me, oh, right? Michael, you got a lot of options. I, I do, but you yeah. still have more. You still have more. Like you still yeah. have more. Even if I had a hundred options, you got ten thousand. You still have more. And and so from that standpoint, I have always felt like it's hard. And I also, this is again just my hypothesis. 
I feel like the relationships that I see last the longest are not where a man is bossing a woman around, but he does lead. Like yes, in, in, a man yes. has to lead. Absolutely. Okay, so you understand that. So in order, if I am dating a girl who gets a fucking ton of um, uh, attention from other men, mm -hmm. I think she has to be a little bit more into me, 5149, 5545, more into me than I'm into her. Not yes. that I'm not, like I love my, my girlfriend, but like just a little bit more. It's just a little hint. Right, number one. Uh, and then number two, what was the other thing? Yeah, I have to be able to lead. Because if, 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 she, if I'm more into her than she's into me, I can't lead. Yeah, and you know, I feel like that's the thing with being with being a man. Like like me personally, I I need a man who can lead, mm -hmm. because otherwise I'm just gonna walk all over them. And I feel like that's how most women are. If if a man can't lead, they're gonna walk all over you, and you're gonna become their doormat. I love that you're so honest about this. It's, this is exactly right. A lot of women would not admit that. No, it's true. Like, I, yeah. I I that's I want to feel like a woman. I, I you know I like to do those type of things. I like to cook and provide for my man, and you know like just kind of like an old school type of way. And I like him to be a man and grab hold of me and. You know, tell me what to do and pull my hair a little bit, you know? <laughs> <laughs>